friends, it's Marcy and welcome back to my channel, long time no talk. I thought why not do a springtime favorites because y'all know how much I love favorites videos and I do want to do them for every month but I am missing March, April, May. I thought I'd just combine all of those and here we are, springtime because even though it's technically so spring, I'm pretty sure it is very hot wherever you live because it is very hot in New York. It may not be summer yet but spring has definitely come to an end. I'm excited to share all of the things that I have loved over the past couple of months. If you are new to my channel and to my favorites videos, I do do my favorites in categories and the first one is fashion. Now you would think because I haven't been posting for like two months that there would be so many fashion pieces that I've been loving but I have been mostly working. Unless we're counting my work uniform as a favorite then I really don't have that much but I do have a few things and I'm actually wearing one of them right now it is a pair of shoes yes friends it's happened I never thought it would I own a pair of Crocs okay let me explain I had to get a new pair of shoes for work because my last ones were really messing up my feet and Osmond suggested getting a pair of Croc flats I went into the store to get those and I saw the these and they're the perfect purple so I decided to get them because Osman has a pair of like navy crocs and I would steal them from him and I like wearing them around the house you will probably never catch me like at the mall or Disney World wearing crocs I could never they're just the perfect purple shade and they're basically just like my house shoes now and I love them a lot as you can see I don't have any of the cute little charms on them because I haven't been able to find any that I thought were worthy of being on such a beautiful purple shade. If you have links to like AliExpress charms that you think are good and would look cute on them, then drop them down below. I would love it. While we're on the topic of shoes, I have another pair of shoes that I have been absolutely obsessed with. If you follow me on TikTok, which if you aren't, why not? It's going to be linked down below in the description. I did an unboxing of these. I also posted that as a reel on my Instagram, which will also be linked down below. These are the Melissa Lazy Oaf shoes and when these came out I was very on the fence if I wanted them and then they sold out and one day I happened to be on the Melissa website and I saw that they had restocked. These shoes smell like bubble gum and they look like this. They're the most perfect shoes I have ever seen in my life. Look at how beautiful. They're so comfortable. They have the Velcro in the back. I am not an open toe shoe kind of person so I do personally like to wear socks with these like cute frilly socks with a dress let me know in the comments below if you want me to do like a summer styling video with these shoes because I know they released a while ago like not too long ago but a while ago so I don't know if the hype is still there but I am obsessed with them and if you can get your hands on them I highly recommend it something I have also been really loving for a multitude of reasons that I'll go into is pleated skirts and these ones I actually got from Shein. I had never ordered from Shein. I got these in a 2X. They are amazing. This white one isn't too thin. You don't see anything. It covers my tummy. It covers my booty. Same thing with this purple one. I want to go back and order every single color that they have on the website. The thing with skirts, especially mini skirts for me, is that I carry a lot of my weight in my tummy, which is fine, but I also have a big butt. So not only do skirts if they're like if they're not high-waisted they'll roll down on my tummy or they'll roll up because I have my curves here but then my booty is just popping out of the back so I have to get like midi skirts or something that is like up to my knee length these tennis skirts I have never been able to find in my size where they fit me comfortably they aren't tight they cover everything that needs to be covered and they don't ride up so I took a leap of faith with these from Shein based off of the size chart I am a 2x on Shein in reality I wear just a regular like extra large according to Shein sizing chart size up always look at the size chart guys I haven't owned a pleated skirt ever so the fact that I have pleated skirts in my wardrobe now brings me so much happiness I can't rave about these enough I think they were like $12 each to all my plus size honeys who feel like you can't wear cute skirts like this because you can never find them in your size I know Shein is not a great place to 
be shopping from, so I try and buy from them just once in a while. This is the first and last order I have placed from them as of right now. Please check them out for their skirts because they're so cute, they're good quality, and they were a major confidence boost for me, honestly. I know I said I didn't have a lot of fashion favorites, but I had a lot to say about the ones that I did. But the final favorite is actually here on my shelf, and I'm just gonna do a brief story time with this. Back in May for three days, and three days only, Stony Clover Lane, which if you guys have been following me on Instagram, seen any of my previous videos, you guys know that I love the brand Stony Clover Lane. They did a sample sale here in New York City. The Stony Clover gods were blessing me because I happened to be off of work those exact three days that week. And I was like, I hope I go and I find some stuff. And then I found a lot of stuff. I have so much new Stony Clover stuff to the point where I actually changed my bookshelf to a display shelf for some of my bags and pouches so I'm gonna show you guys that and show you some of my favorite pieces. Spoiler alert, it's everything that I bought. I love it all. This is how the shelf is looking. So I didn't get this purple one at the sample sale. I had bought that on my own. This was a part of their picnic collection. It was like pastel gingham but then when I went to the sale I found the pink one and it has some patches on it. I found this pouch. They did a pastel gingham collection which was only online where it was like all of the different colors instead of just the one solid color and I snatched that up I got these beautiful bags that pouch you guys have seen in my last favorites video this pink one I already had and this one I already had but I got this clear one in the back see it there and I got these notebooks my stony clover collection and this isn't all of it you guys it's really grown that's some of it and then I was able to condense the rest of everything from the three massive bags that I had into this one bag definitely let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a full stony clover collection video because it is on my list but I don't know if that's something you guys would be into so let me know we are back at my desk now and we're gonna jump in to the next category which is going to be beauty. If I'm being 100% honest with you guys, over these past couple of months, I actually haven't really been wearing any makeup and I have been focusing more on taking care of my skin. A lot of my beauty favorites are skincare favorites. Back in April, this brand by the name of Duval reached out to me and wanted to send me their Radiant Spin Care System. So it is this facial cleansing brush here, but it's not only for the face and I will show you all of the different brushes that it comes with. I just want to give a quick disclaimer that this was sent to me as a gift for review purposes. This video is not sponsored and I am not obligated to mention this at all, but I have been using it over the past couple of months, so I feel like my opinion is pretty solid. So this spin care system comes with four different brushes. One is an exfoliating brush head, which is actually in my bathroom right now. This is the Gentle Facial Cleanse cleanser one. I love using this one after I take off my makeup during my double cleanse, which I will go into in a little bit. They also have this pumice stone one. You can use this on your feet. You can use this on your elbows. And then they sent over this one. Well, it comes with this one, this big cleansing brush. And this is good for your body. I personally love to use this on my legs to give them a little exfoliating massage before I I shave my legs and it's been helping tremendously. I am someone who suffers from rosacea so I get very red in the face. If my skin gets irritated in the slightest, I could be red for up to an hour. And exfoliating is something that I know I need to do but I haven't been able to master it with the sensitivity of my skin. And the exfoliating brush with this skin care system has really, really saved my skin over these past couple of months. Mixed in with all of these other products that I have been using. I would highly recommend this. It is compact, there's no cords, nothing, so you don't have to worry about charging it. It runs on four AA batteries. I have seen people use skincare facial cleansing brushes like this in the past on YouTube, and I've always wanted to try one, so thank you so much to Duval for reaching out to me and sending me this. It was basically like a belated birthday gift, and I loved it so, so much. The best part is they actually provided me with a coupon code 
code for you guys if you're interested in picking one up. It's just Amora Marcy. I will have the link and the information in the description so check it out if you're interested. I briefly mentioned that I use this skincare brush in cahoots with another item and that is this item. So this is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Whenever I have worn makeup or when I wear my sunscreen, before I go to bed, I will use this cleansing balm, put it in my hands. It comes with this little scooper thing here. Put it in my fingers to warm it up and this is like an oil-based cleanser. So I will rub it all over my face and it takes off my makeup amazingly. Then every night after I do that, my face is feeling a little bit dry. So I have been in love with this 4th Ray Beauty Good Mood Gel Moisturizer. This is in the rose scent. Of course I had to get the pink one. I actually keep this in my fridge so it's nice and cold when I put it on. It smells so good and it's just so hydrating because I do have dry skin. Put this on before I go to bed and let it absorb. And then something I've just been doing for fun but I feel like it's helped a lot is after I do all of that for my lips because you know you gotta take care of your lips as well. I have been using this Hello Kitty and Friends lip mask from 4th Ray Beauty as well and this is in Peppermint Cookie. This was a part of the Hello Kitty and Friends Christmas collection that they released. I use this pretty much every day and like no dent has been made so this is gonna last me forever but I kind of have subbed this as a lip balm so I will put a generous amount on like lip balm and then I go to bed and I wake up juicy and fresh. Now we are just chilling on the bed. We're gonna go into the final category which is lifestyle. I have been watching so much anime over the past couple of months. I have two that have completely taken over my life for the better and that is Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia. The anime that definitely started it off for me was Demon Slayer. I saw that it was on Netflix and I was like oh everybody is talking about this show right now. Let me watch it. It's only one season. I <laughs> binged it and I finished it in like a day. Then the movie Mugen Train was released in movie theaters and I loved it. Demon Slayer has completely taken over my life. I cannot wait for season two. And then Osman bought me a t-shirt. It was from Target and it is Sanrio and My Hero Academia. So it's different Sanrio characters dressed up as different characters from My Hero Academia. And he bought it for me. I had never watched the show. And then one day I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna start watching it so I can know like who's who on my t-shirt. My Hero, I decided to watch dub and I fell in love. I love My Hero Academia so, so much. Like I watched four seasons in a week. I am officially all caught up with all of the episodes that are out right now. I know there's two movies. I need to watch those and a third that apparently is coming out in August. My favorite from class 1A is Deku, like Azuku Midoriya. He's just so pure. If he was a person, I would just like hug him and pat his head. Todoroki was my favorite before I even started watching the show. I just thought he was adorable. And Bakugo, like I am having a weird, I think I like him. I think I hate his guts, but I love all of the kids from 1A and I love Mr. Ozawa and I love All Might, but I love All Might when he's skinny and dying. Not superhero All Might. If you watch the show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Go watch My Hero if you haven't. If you have, tell me who's your favorite in the comments down below. And if you've watched Demon Slayer, tell me who's your favorite because I want a fangirl. Let's do it. I only have two things to mention for music. The whole world is obsessed right now. Can you blame the whole world? Olivia Rodrigo, I love her in High School Musical, the musical, the series. Then her album came out and it's so good. Good For You is still my favorite song, but I definitely love Hope You're Okay, Happier, and Traitor. And then my other faves released an album. 21 Pilots released Scaled and Icy. I, when I first heard the album, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was like, this isn't that good. It's not terrible, but it isn't that good. 21 Pilots are one of my favorite artists like of all time. Even though I love them, I can be critical. And I was like, I get it. Like they're happy. They're in a very good place in their lives and their music is reflecting that. It's much more happy and upbeat and dancey. But I also love the idea of going to see them in concert performing this album. 
album and being able to just like jam out in the pit dancing around it's gonna be so much fun that is officially all of the things that I have been loving over the past three months for the whole season of spring if you watch this entire video through be sure to leave a rainbow emoji down in the comments because I have a feeling that this is gonna be a long video I am going to let you guys go be sure to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok I am just at Amor Marcy on both of those they'll be linked down in the description give this video a big old thumbs up so I know that you liked it and of course be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a new video I love you guys so so much and I will see you real soon bye